No, it's not Nikola. Hey everyone, me Kevin here. In this video, I'm going to discuss the biggest threat to Tesla's stock that has me concerned about Tesla and kind of makes me start wondering if I should diversify a bit and take some risk off the table. Now, to be fair, I am a Tesla bull. I want to get that out of the way up front. I own over 11,000 shares of Tesla and that makes up a good chunk of my portfolio and I love Tesla. But as a Tesla investor, I have to be very real with myself and be aware of the potential downsides to Tesla's market share. So over the last four weeks, I've been heavily researching everything I can about the threats to Tesla, especially including other EV makers like Neo and other startups, especially since on a daily basis, we talk about this in my course member live streams, link down below in case you want to join. But so far, I am confident that Tesla will dominate on many fronts, but I will discuss my concerns. I am confident that Tesla will ramp up its vehicle sales dramatically. I'm confident they're going to succeed on solar where they're currently way underperforming and their new t Tesla solar model and energy storage model should dominate the market. But if I ignore this big potential downside, I think I would be a very bad investor. Now, before I mention the big downside, let me quickly help you hedge your losses by making sure you get two completely free stocks with Weeble. If you have any losses, these will help offset those. Deposit $100 with Weeble. They will give you two free stocks worth up to $1,600. And if that doesn't work, well, then you could just get life insurance in as little as five minutes. Link below. <laughs> All right, let's start here. Let's start with, with the words from Elon Musk on Battery Day that were in my opinion, very underappreciated. He tells us exactly how to value Tesla. And this is exactly how I've been valuing Tesla on all my prior videos and in my prior spreadsheets. But this is in his words. So let's just listen to 10 seconds here. You know, I think the, the, the value of Tesla is gonna be like total, just on the vehicle side, total vehicles produced times the value of autonomy. That's, that's. There it is. That's the value of Tesla. Total vehicles produced times the value of autonomy. And so now I got to thinking, maybe I've been approaching this wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be only paying attention to Tesla's vehicle production and then comparing Tesla's vehicle production to other manufacturers. But maybe the greatest threat to Tesla is actually another autonomy producer. Well, enter something called off-the-shelf autonomy systems. In March of 2017, the Israeli company named Mobileye was acquired by Intel. Mobileye was actually used in the 2015 and 2016 Teslas for Tesla Autopilot hardware version 1.0. And in 2016, a Tesla crashed into a semi-truck while on autopilot. Here's a graphic from the New York Times showing you what happened when the car approached a semi-truck that had crossed in front of the Tesla with with autopilot active, the car did not see the semi truck, drove under the semi, sheared off the top half of the car, and well, you know what else, uh, and then continued kind of driving on until it crashed and struck a power pole. Now, rumor has it, the driver was also watching Harry Potter while the car was on autopilot, and this was a widely circulated story. Elon Musk responded and th believed, he stated that he believed that because the truck was very white, when the car approached the truck and the truck didn't have anything touching the ground in the middle of the truck, which makes sense because the truck is elevated in the middle. You know, you got wheels in the front, wheels in the back, <laughs> and nothing in the middle. Elon Musk thought that the sensors of the car didn't see any obstruction and saw a vertical obstruction and that maybe the autonomy system simply thought, oh, well, there's something overhead, there's nothing on the floor. Well, that just must be a street sign. Car didn't stop, boom, a bad day. Well, in 2016, Tesla ended its partnership with Mobileye. And that makes you wonder, was that the end of Mobileye? Well, welcome to 2020. Tesla separated itself from Mobileye in 2016, and Tesla focused on building out its own autonomy system without the help of outside manufacturers. However, Mobileye didn't go away. If anything, it got better 
and stronger. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a video of Mobileye. Now here's some footage of Mobileye's hardware and software going through a roundabout. Here's one going through an intersection. I'll link this video down below, but th this is a 40 minute long video that I 4X some parts of, and you can kind of get an idea that this car can park and can identify people getting out of the car, somebody pulling out in front of the car. Watch this pedestrian here, look at that. It stops for them as they get in the intersection there. It kind of makes you wonder if they planned all this, but honestly, it looks really good. It dodged that truck that was stopped, you know, these are some things that the Tesla just doesn't do yet. And I'm saying that as a Tesla owner, this is impressive. Uh, this is a video to watch, I'll link it below. Okay, so what? There's another company that has some autonomy. Like, why does that matter? Well, here's why it matters a lot. Remember, the future value, according to Elon, of Tesla is based on Tesla's autonomy times its production. Right? Of course, there's energy and batteries and there are all these great things as well. I'm not trying to minimize Tesla. Remember, I'm a I'm Tesla fanboy, but I'm just trying to be critical and like, hmm, I got to be careful here. And I'm going to give you a strategy in a moment, but let's just look at a very simple formula. Value equals production times autonomy. Well, if we now have multiple autonomous competitors and we divide the value of autonomy, let's say by two, because there's so much competition, then what happens to value? Well, value also goes down by two. That's not good. So we're not just looking at EV competition, we're looking at autonomous competition. And in my opinion, the autonomous competition is actually what's much more valuable to Tesla and more potentially dangerous. Now, Mobileye, it's an off-the-shelf advanced driver assistance system. The Mobileye system is actually not a car company, it's just a system that you can add on to cars. And 25 automakers have decided to start manufacturing over 300 models of vehicles using Mobileye's autonomous technology. It's literally like, hey, BMW, you guys punted getting autopilot into your cars and punted getting your own technology? <laughs> no problem. Just license it from us and call it whatever you want. Now, obviously, it helps that Tesla has their own in-house system. They don't have to license it from other companies. And maybe Tesla can make money by licensing their product to other cars in the future if there's even a market left because Mobileye's partnering with everyone. But stay tuned, it's not just Mobileye, but let me finish on Mobileye. Mobileye has partnered with some of these cars, just as an example, the BMW Series 3 and the X5 SUV, branded under BMW's driver assistance software. The Volkswagen Passat and Golf use Mobileye and they're branded under VW Travel Assist. The 2021 Ford Mustang and the 2021 F-150 from Ford will use Mobileye. Nissan's Pro Pilot 2.0 is Mobileye. And the Chinese startup Neo, the Pilot, the ES8, and the ES6 all use Mobileye. And see, what's interesting here is the more manufacturers start using Mobileye, the more it's likely that Mobileye can actually start collecting more data than Tesla can. Because if Mobileye gets into many different manufacturers, Tesla only gets Tesla vehicles, Tesla could potentially start falling behind on data collection. And this off the shelf race for autonomous sort of softwares and devices is now actually getting even more competitive. NVIDIA is partnering with Li Auto, a Chinese EV company, and Qualcomm has started their own autonomous division as well, called Qualcomm's Snapdragon Ride Platform, also an off-the-shelf autonomous system. In fact, here's their marketing video. They use radar technology and camera technology, and it looks pretty good. You can see that there is some serious competition coming to Tesla. And that's not good as a Tesla investor. They're, these are just things I want to be aware of. So how do we protect ourselves from that? It looks like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Well, folks, aside from getting two free stocks with Webull, checking out the courses down below and checking out the life insurance, here's what I'm doing. And, and this is this is big because it's a shift for me. And I'm not going to dive in Monday morning on doing this. I'm going to do some more research on these companies. But here's what I'm very, very tempted to do. In order to hedge my Tesla investment, I am going to consider investing in NVIDIA, Intel, and Qualcomm. These are three very large competitors in the automotive autonomy space, automotive autonomy space. Uh, and honestly, all three of these could see some incredible profits if they keep garnering market share in this autonomous space. Again, go back to what Elon Musk said. 
Elon Musk said the value of, he said it himself, the value of Tesla is production times autonomy. Well, if I want to hedge Tesla, I'm happy with production at Tesla. I'm not really buying other car companies right now. I haven't been convinced to buy other companies. And it certainly ain't going to be Nikola. But why not potentially invest in the other autonomous manufacturers as well? So that's my encouragement to you. Consider hedging your Tesla investments in NVIDIA, Intel, and Qualcomm. Now remember, Intel has been beat down dramatically lately for its failure to innovate, as some say. But hey, maybe they're just a sleeping giant. Well, there you have it. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your insights and what you think about this competition and this potential hedge. And of course, it's kind of the same industry, so it's not exactly a real hedge, but I think you all know what I mean. Let's call it diversity. Let me know your thoughts. Consider sharing the video if you liked it. And folks, we'll see you in the next one.